Hey everyone, this is Keon with the Bob's Red Mill Train with Grain team. If you've been following us on Facebook under Train with Grain or on the Bob's Red Mill site uh, under, the, under the prefix of Train with Grain as well, uh, you know that this is my first year doing triathlons with the Train with Grain team. I uh, started training in January for, my, for triathlon season, have done an Olympic distance a couple weeks ago, have done a sprint and preparing for Pack Crest 2011 coming up here pretty soon. Getting pretty excited. I've uh, been following uh, my training regimen, getting pushed by my training partners and eating the great Bob's Red Mill products, uh, getting me ready for Pack Crest 2011 coming up here pretty soon. Uh, I'm just getting back in for my last ride uh, before the race. Uh, for, all of, for all of you who are out there tapering, you know that uh, follow your training schedule, uh, decrease your hours as you're getting ready to, the ra to race, but make sure your intensity is really high uh, as you're coming down the home stretch, that way your muscles stay ready and they stay fresh. Uh, my last uh, meal before the race is my favorite meal, uh, the Bob's Red Mill Quinoa. We make uh, quinoa bowls here at home. Uh, for those of you who haven't had them, it's pretty simple. Just grab the, just grab the, uh, the Bob's Red Mill Quinoa, chop up whatever vegetables that you want, mix in uh, lemon juice, and uh, we always use a, a barbecue chicken and uh, mix it all together with peanut sauce and uh, you're, great, you're good to go. Uh, remember to be eating clean foods. Uh, throughout your training process, something that's easy, really easy to digest for you that's going to be different for every single person. And also when you're eating your last meal, uh, remember to be finished eating 12 hours prior to your race time. That way your body's had plenty of time to digest uh, and, <laughs> that, and that way you're feeling really good come uh, race time. Uh, overall the training process has been really good. I've been following a pretty st strict uh, training regimen. Uh, every day I look at my calendar and see what's on, uh, see what's in store for me and I follow it to a T. So make sure you're looking for your coaches out there to give, to make a, uh, a training program from, for you and make sure you follow it. Um, Pat Crest is coming up here pretty soon. It's uh, a big monster in terms of triathlons out there. Uh, have been <laughs> pretty apprehensive about it just because of the length uh, of the half Ironman distance as well as the elevation and last year uh, temperatures were in the 90s, so hopefully the, the weather will hold uh, and it'll be a, a great day for everybody. Uh, the t-shirts are all made. We've had our t-shirt making party. Hopefully for all of you out there that uh, have your big uh, big support groups, they're uh, making those cowbells and pink leotard pants and you know you guys are getting ready to go for the weekend. Uh, look for us out there. We'll be, uh, we'll be out at the Bob's Red Mill um, tent out of Pack Crest 2011. Uh, don't know if we'll be um, doing any specific times or anything like that, but we'll be out there cheering you guys on. Just look for us. We'll be rocking the, the Bob, Bob's Red Mill hats and uh, cycling caps. If you're signing up for your uh, Bob's Red Mill Train with Grain program, you get uh, a ton of free goodies. Uh, you get hats, water bottles. Uh, the, hat, the running hat that I have uh, looks like this. I really like this one. I'll be wearing this for the run portion as well as the Bob's Red Mill um, cycling cap coming in. Uh, off of the bike. Uh, next time, check in with us. I'll be, I will have a race recap and let you guys know how it went. Uh, but feeling pretty good so far. The training has gone really well and have a great group of guys that I train with. Make sure you get a good group of guys. If you're following us on the, the blogging site, uh, you'll know that my biggest tip that I could give anybody in terms of getting started and being a beginner in the triathlon world is get a group and make sure that you have guys that are going to be pushing you and making sure that you're getting out there when you need to. Uh, next time we'll be uh, we'll be documenting one of the recipes. This is uh, the recipe is Tony's Outrageous Muffins. Um, I got a ton of Bob's Red Mill products from the dried apples to the raisins to the wheat germ uh, for uh, for the specific recipe. So I'm excited. Can't wait to try it out. And uh, we'll probably be bringing these out to uh, Pat Crest to get us all fueled up and ready to go uh, for Pat Crest 2011. Uh, thanks again for all your guys' support and uh, look for us on the blogs and if you need anything just post, if you have any questions I should say, uh, just post on the blog and we'll get back to you. Uh, good luck and uh, get training.